similar to terms that we use in everyday life, irrational. These are not irrational in the normal sense that we use it in English, but they're irrational in the sense that that number never repeats. Pi is a number that never repeats the digits any time. It goes on forever, never repeating any of the numbers in exactly the same sequence. Okay, so it's an irrational number that nature tells us exists. It's a ratio of a circumference to a diameter. The first airmail delivery came out of Lafayette, Indiana. There's a picture of that balloon that delivered the first airmail. The theory was the balloon was going to go up and it was going to get carried by the winds that, that are high up there and it was going to go to New York. They had all kinds of problems with the balloon and it didn't fill right and there was all these things. And it was just a, one disaster after another. They finally managed to get the thing to go up and then it went into the port field in Crawfordsville. <laughs> and, uh, but it did have letters in it. And it is the very first air rail flight. Those letters were carried probably by Pony Express or something to New York. And it was actually the first air rail flight as commemorated in the stamp here at Lafayette, Indiana. This is just the campus right at the time that uh, Gibbs was writing uh, his paper uh, on heterogeneous substances, 1871. Planck is here on trial for an attempt to assassinate Hitler. Erwin Planck was convicted and executed his son in Germany. That's what happened. That is what happened. Okay? Planck never left Germany. I don't know. I do not understand this. But that is what happened. Okay? This is the picture of the trial. Wow. I need a beer. This epitomizes more than anything like why I love science. There's mysterious, weirdo things that are just so cool about things that you find stuff, and they're just amazing. You know, they're just totally amazing.